What's going on everyone, what is poppin'? I am back on Showdown with my latest OU team. Uh, today's team is going to be featuring a Luxray in the OU tier, but before we begin, I'd like you all to leave a comment. Please tell me what is the first shiny Pokemon you ever found, or if you haven't found one at all, just tell me what your favorite one is. Um, I'd like to know. I found a shiny Linewood in an Emerald when I was a kid, and I thought the game was glitched, so I powered it off and powered it back on to make sure the Linewood was fixed, and this was my first mistake, but uh... Anyways, I look forward to reading all of your comments, as usual. Now, as you can see, Luxray. Very, very powerful Pokemon. It has a base 120 attack. That's uh, fantastic with Adam and Nature. Flame Orb, Guts Boosted. Hits really hard. I'm running Spark. <laughs> I'm running Spark over uh, Wild Charge so that we don't take uh, so, so much recoil. Because we'll take recoil and we take Flame Orb and whatever hit the opponent goes for, maybe. But um, it's not too big a difference in power. I mean, it's, I, get, I think, 65. Where's Spark? Uh, yeah, it's 65 over 90 uh, instead of 90, which isn't too big a difference because it's still 2 at KO stuff we want to 2 at KO, like uh, like Pex and Slowbro and stuff. Uh, and we have Super Power for Ferrothorn, Drill, Crunch for Alolan Marowax, and other Pokemon that would otherwise wall uh, our moves here, like maybe Dragapult. Facade hits really, really hard too, so that's uh, a really fun move, especially to catch like Rillaboom on the Switch. They, Oko they get Oko'd after Rocks, I think. Um, and yeah, it's a really intricate EV spread here. We wanted to make sure the defenses got to 200 at least. And uh, enough speed to outrun a, uh, I think Aegislash is the one that hits 219 if it's uh, plus attack or plus uh, like a modest nature or something. But yeah, it's a fun, it's a fun mod for sure. I'm excited to showcase it because uh, it's been putting in a lot of work while I was testing. And, uh, and yeah, so we have Mantine here as well. Uh, pretty unique defogger. It can help versus rain matchups and... With heavy duty boots, we don't take any hazard uh, damage upon switching. And then uh, we have like Scald, Defog, and stuff. So it's nice with this EV spread here. We have Gengar as well. Gengar is really nice because um, it helps Luxray break down like Fizz Def Tangrowth uh, really easily. Um, Gengar can be really nice to deal with walls and stuff. And it breaks through Chansey and, and stuff um, very easily with some nasty plot. Rhyperior with Stealth Rocks. Uh, I have uh, SD, Stealth Rocks, and two attacks. Smackdown's kind of cool because it can. It can bring down Corviknights and, and stuff, which can be useful, especially when, uh, I don't know, they're like roosting and things. Uh, then we have Urshifu, which uh, I, I really like Urshifu Magirna, but I tried to spice it up this time when I brought it. So I'm bringing Choice Scarf Urshifu and uh, Toxic Orb Trick Magirna. <laughs> so this is like the ultimate like chancy uh, destroyer right here. You trick and you steal their Violet and give them a Toxic Orb. So then they're always going to be poisoned. And then you can just Pain Split whenever you get low. Um, it's pretty funny. And then um, it can also be great versus like Cinderaces and stuff too if you take away their boots and give them a Toxic Orb. Um, but the Choice Card for Shifu takes a lot of mods by surprise too. Has a really nice speed tier for it as well. So I figured it'd be kind of more unique than uh, just seeing the usual bulk ups or, or banded stuff or just like an AV Magirna. I think this would be this is a pretty interesting twist, I guess, on those two. But that's the team. Uh, and also there's a new button here, Do Not Allow X Spectators. I don't have to type anything anymore, which is... Uh, which is so nice. <laughs> really, uh, really interesting uh, addition there now. Oh, I don't have to type anything like I was going to do. Excellent. Um, yeah, he's got a pretty standard team. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of whatever. Urshifu Magirna. Just like us, but at least ours are kind of more unique. We don't know what his is, though, but we also have, um, like, to deal with dr Drill and Cinderace and stuff. It's going to be the Urshifu leads here. I'll just, uh, Go ahead and U-turn myself out as he decides to go Pex. No Rocky Helmet, which is nice. We could bring in we could bring in Luxray here. You already know. I do want a superpower, but I feel like that's just a bold move off right off the bat. Actually, no, I'm a superpower here. I'm gonna make the play. Okay, I mean he has a hippo. Which is like still good uh, to go into. Probably get up rocks here, but we could just go into um, Mantine. Yeah, any kind of Hippo matchup is really bad for for Luxray. Uh, but it is what it is. Let's double the Gengar here. As he goes Pex. Gonna just sub, I guess. I'm not sure what attacks he'll have. As he goes Cinderace. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We get that sub off. We get a big hit off with the Sludge Wave here. So, that puts it down nice and low. Then we get to go Rhyperior. As he actually goes into Magirna. This is still a fine switch in for us here. I, I 
I'm fine with that. And, um, honestly, I just want to, uh, set up rocks here as he goes hippo. So we got our rocks up. That's nice. And then what we can do here is just, uh, I could probably SD up here and just start threatening this thing a bit. So let's earthquake this doing 51, which is great. Heal whirlwind us. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Wait a second. Where did that come from? That was just so random. Like not even any kind of hacks happened or anything. Incredibly random. Um, but go, we'll go ahead and take some nice burns on this thing. And uh, then what we can do here. So I think that Hippo gets two Akira from the range that it's at. So we're going to go hard into Lux right here. Um, we don't even care about Toxics or anything. Um, we're going to Facade now. Hit this up for some pretty decent damage as he'll recover. Um, and then what we can do here is just click Spark. But he goes Hippo. Uh, let's see. Um, I think what we'll want to do is... Probably should have clicked Facade again. Let's go Mantine here. Double into... Uh, Luxray, I think. It's going to be tough breaking down this uh, hip out on. Hmm. Right, that's fine. You went Magirna. We could probably just spark. But he has a hippo that he can go into every single time. I'll, I'll facade here, actually. Yeah. We'll get as much damage as we can on this. I'm kind of curious to see how much it would have done. 40. Okay, that's that's not bad. Got it down nice and low. Um, That's good. I feel like a Shadow Ball would knock this thing out, maybe. Though it's kind of hard to say. Yeah, I'll Shadow Ball here. As he goes into Urshifu. Hit this up for some very clean damage. I don't think this is Scarf, so I'm going to sub here. As he goes into Drill now. I don't understand that play, uh, in all honesty. Because we are going to be faster and we are going to 2 KO this thing. Yup, yup. So Drill is gone. Why he sacked that, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Cinderace comes in here. Yep, and he can't even switch back in anymore. That's fantastic. Um, awesome. So we'll just go into Rhyperior. He'll Pyro Ball here. If he is not Heavy Duty Boots, he's probably Choice Locked, I would assume. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, probably. So we can pick this thing off. In comes Magirna. Not sure why he went into this thing. Focus Blast. We'll live that. Goodbye. Goodbye. That was so random. He just got so aggressive out of nowhere. <laughs> it's already... The room's already hidden. What are you doing? <laughs> Look at that. It's already invite only. I'm just going to leave a GG there in case he ever comes back. Um, But yeah, that's... That's crazy. That guy was a complete clown. Luxor still did some good work. Like, it did 40 to hit out on. Rocky Helmet, too. So you already know it's pretty powerful. So what an interesting start to this video. That's going to be nice for the thumbnail. All right. Um, yeah, this is our next game here. We have this team. Pre-Marina... Galarian Weezing. Galarian Weezing is kind of interesting because if it is um, neutralizing gas, it kind of neutralizes guts. But if not, then we could like, we could kind of play around it a bit. I'm going to leave Dorshifu as he leaves off with zero aura. Um, I'm free to just wicked blow this thing, I think. And get some good damage off on it as he'll vote switch. He gets a crit on us. I do not, I do not think that he had the same effect as us there, but it seems that for that turn he did. Goes Galarian Weezing. Um, we have a Gengar, which we can go into, honestly. Like, we could go Gengar here. Um, 
It's not neutralizing gas, that's for sure. We could actually... No, no, no. Let's go Luxray here. Let's go Luxray. He can T-Spike, but we have a Gengar. Let's, uh... Ooh, activation. Facade here. That's good damage. That's not a 2 KO either. That's okay. Getting rid of this is nice. Is uh, honestly really nice. Yep, so this Weezing's eliminated. That's good. Income zero aura. We can go here into... Um, we could go Magirna, but... Hang on, what do, what do we want to do here? I think Magirna's fine. I, I mean, I do want to absorb this T-Spike. Like, I really do, but I don't think we should go into it just yet. Let's go Magirna. We're more Fizz Def than anything. He knocks off my Toxic Orb. That is fine. And then what we can do here, we could trick away his item. I don't know what his item is though. But I could also Fleur. He just stays in Plasma Fists. So we can knock this out. And if he goes into Volk, we'll go hard um, Rhyperior. I don't think he is... Uh, um, hmm. I don't think he's Giga Drain, but he could be. But we don't really need Rhyperior for anything else. Uh, he goes Primarina now. So I'm free to Volt Switch here. As we can probably go into... I want to say Gengar to absorb the T-Spike now. I'm not sure what item he is. He's just... Okay, he's just the regular sub-CM set. Um, so that's good to know. I think Luxray is faster than that set too. So I'm going to Sludge Wave this. As he'll Scald Burn me. That's fine. We can now just... Uh, I want to say double into Magirna, or switch out here actually into Magirna, as he's going to go Mandibuzz. Perfect, perfect. He'll U-turn, get the faster U-turn off as we can U-turn, or sorry, Volt Switch ourselves here. We could just go ahead and switch out. Uh, Luxray coming in probably just gets destroyed, but I think Urshifu, we could blow might knock it out from this range though, but I'm not sure. I think I go Gengar. I think I go Gengar here, and then I uh, Sludge Wave. He will probably U-turn out though. Um, I think I slow drive again. Yep. So we got this thing nice and low. In comes Kiram. Okay, this is a big threat. Definitely a threat for sure. Um, at this point in time, Luxray did its job. He got rid of the Weezing for Urshifu. So that's good enough for me, I think. I could stay in to try to get damage off, but I think keeping Gengar around because it's faster than both Mandibuzz and Primarina is nice. Uh, I'm just going to sack the Lux right here. As he does Earth Power, then we can go Urshifu. Wicked Blow makes more sense, but I think Close Combat's nice too because we can just knock out Mandibuzz immediately. Um, so get rid of, getting rid of that Mon's great. He's going to go Primarina here. Though, huh. In this case, we go uh, Magirna, right? Pretty sure we go Magirna. He'll Moonblast us. Does not lower any spe uh, special stats or anything. Uh, we are faster than this guaranteed, so we can just Volt Switch here. So I think the correct sequence of play for us would be... Um, we could go Mantine here. Because I think he'll just Scald. Yeah, exactly. Um, he can sub here though, that's the only problem. He's just out of range. So yeah, he does get the sub off. So we'll break this thing sub now. Go into... Mantine here. As he'll calm mind up. Now we can put a Toxic on this thing. Moonblast is not going to be a 2 KO. And we can just roost this uh, damage off here. Yeah, that's, that's I think, very ideal for us now. Like, Mantine's really good as, as sort of a, a way to deal with some of these Water-type Pokemon. Yep, so that's good. In comes Kiram. He can easily freeze-dry us. We don't need Magirna at this point anymore now, since we got rid of uh, Primarina. Yep, so there's the freeze dry. It's choice specs, I think. 
Uh, so here we can just click uh, Flare Cannon. And now I think we just weaken this thing and then we could blow twice. So let's just weaken this a bit. Yeah, we could blow should knock it out. So we go into Urshifu, knock this out, and then yeah, Volcarona will get knocked out here as well. Or almost knocked out. But we are Choice Scarf, so we can knock this thing out. That's crazy, 99%. <laughs> he wasn't even focus dashed. Yeah, GG. Very nice game overall. And we can continue strongly uh, with Luxray. Great Pokemon overall, I think. Um, this guy's rocking a pretty standard team. With Halucha. I haven't faced too many Halucha matchups with, while testing. I only tested this team a bit here and there. Halucha does seem kind of annoying, but I do run a Fizdef Magirna and a uh, bulkier Mantine on the Fizdef side. In this matchup, I think we just lead Urshifu. Because uh, Choice Scarf, Urshifu, takes a lot of Pokemon by surprise. Initially, I was running um, Mandibuzz, and then I was running um, the Rapid Strike set with Scarf. It was pretty good, too. But the Rain matchup was a lot tougher. This one actually uh, is really good versus Rain. I'll start the timer as well. Alright, so it's going to be the Rillaboom lead. I'm just going to U-turn here. Grassy Glide does some decent damage, but this is, uh, I think, all for the better. Getting some good chip on this thing. Uh, and then we could go into Gengar here and click Shadow Ball now. Because we want to keep Magirna healthy in order to take on the Halucha. He goes into his own Magirna now. Um, okay, interesting. Not sure exactly what set he is, but I'm going to sub here. As he has Flash Cannon. Okay, interesting. Um, so what do we want to do? I'm not sure if this thing is Specs or not. I'm going to go Luxray here, actually, and see what happens. So that is... <laughs> Good lord. That did so much. But we can uh, chip this down enough. And then uh, we can probably knock this thing out with Urshifu's close combat, I think. Yeah, let's go for the close combat here. So at this point, he'll probably like... I don't think he'd go hard Azu, but he might. In which case, I mean, we have Mantine. We have uh, some stuff to deal with it. This could also be Belly Drum, uh, Azu. Yeah, so we knocked this thing out. That's good. Magirna is a pretty broken Pokemon, to be honest. In uh, this generation especially. Um, the gens before, I mean, it was never really gone from OU, right? So... Um. All right, interesting. What do we do here? What do we do? I think I just close combat this. Just to get as much chip as I can. He'll belly drum. Uh, and then he'll just aqua jet here, right? So uh, this is going to be an interesting one. Very, very interesting one for sure. I know Magirna can live a hit though. So we have to sack something. I didn't want to have to do that though, but... Um, I think Rhyperior is great for the Cinderace. Gengar is still really, really nice as well. Maybe Urshifu is the one we can sack, but it is Choice Scarfed. I think we can sack this though. And then just go Magirna and Volt. Volt should knock it out, I think. Yeah, this should get knocked out here. We, we, we don't doubt a plus six uh, jet for sure. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, get rid of this Pokemon here and then go into, I want to say uh, Gengar. I think Gengar here is fine because he'll be forced now into Cinderace. 
We know that Rillaboom is Life Orb. Not sure why he went into this Pokemon. Um, but a Shadow Ball will take it out here. Though I, could, I guess I could Sludge Wave because he had no intention of switching anyways. Goes into uh, Halucha here. So at this point, I think we just Sludge Wave this. There's no point in switching out. He'll be able to knock us out. I think... Um, what we want to do here is we want we could keep Gengar at full health. Let's sack the Magirna. And then let's go into Mantine here. Mantine should live a hit uh, from this thing and knock it out with Scald. Yeah, it does live. Excellently EV'd. And then in comes Cinderace. Um, versus Cinderace, I think we'll just Toxic here. As he'll uh, go for the Power Ball. But we have Rhyperior, which we can go into, and we could probably just click um, EQ as he decides to bulk up here. And Zen Headbutts, that, uh, there's a ton of damage there, but he'll get knocked out in the process uh, and end up losing to Cor and end up losing with uh, Corvo Knight because we have Smackdown and stuff too. So that's GG right there. Uh, very solid game. Glad that, uh, the team's putting in the finest of work. Um, okay, so this guy actually has a Diggersby team with Weavile and stuff. That could be interesting. Um, Scarf or Shifu will be really useful in dealing with uh, those kinds of mines, especially if they're also Choice Scarfed. Uh, I mean, for Diggersby, at least, because uh, or Shifu's faster than that. Weavile, generally not Scarfed, of course, but yeah. <laughs> You'd probably think he's faster. Uh, I don't know. Pretty broken standard team Magirna Dragapult as he does lead directly with the Magirna so we will U-turn out into our Rhyperior as he floor cannons and does too much damage I thought he's gonna like Volswitch or something um, doubles to Diggersby here or switches out to Diggersby we can go Magirna now sorry into uh, Mantine is what I meant to say Thankfully, he thought I was going Magirna because I said it. He's probably listening and listening in to me. Um, let's just double to Lux right here on the Tox effects. Yeah, you already know. You already know. We are out here. This is what I like to see. Click that Spark, I think, is the play. I don't think he'd go Diggersby on this. Yeah, he goes Corviknight. Beautiful. So we get to hit him up for some good damage right there. Get that nice critical hit Spark. Facade takes it out now, too. As he goes Diggersby, oh, this thing is going to get toasted. Look at this. Toasted. <laughs> Yo, Luxray, let's go. Let's go, Luxray. Okay, okay. Let's go Magirna on this thing. Should be able to wall it pretty well. As he SDs up, we can just Flare Cannon this. Look at that. No damage. No type of damage. Of course. You already know. <sighs> yeah, and then he's going to just attack with Triple Axel. Go to Shifu and U-turn now. I'm getting kind of like annoyed by this thing. I'm sure he'll, he's just going to stay in here, yeah, and just get destroyed. Um, so that thing is gone, uh, kind of what Magirna was supposed to do earlier on. And uh, yeah, now we can just go into something like uh, Luxray, for instance. Force in the Dragapult here, I believe, is what's going to happen. Um, oh no, actually Magirna comes out here. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this thing we know is Choice Specs. He's going to try to Vol Switch here. I'm pretty sure it's it's Choice Specs. And then what we do is we click Smackdown on the... Okay, Dragapult. That's fine. Who do we want to go into? I guess Magirna we can go into right now. Is he's going to U-turn out. Yo, we have Pain Split though. We got, we got Pain Split. He's going to go into his own Magirna, but I mean, yeah, <laughs> what were you thinking running Focus Blast there? You should be running Aura Sphere. That has the full glasses effect there. GG. Oh, yo, Luxray showed him up in, that, in those two turns there. Luxray showed him up completely. That is so nice to see. Oh my lord. Okay, okay. It was just so satisfying to see that, that Diggers we drop from 100 to 0. <laughs> that was... uh insane um i've seen this team before i think i feel like this team has hit like pretty high on the ladder uh okay what do we do here we we probably just lead urshifu 
but this is probably Sash, uh, Sash Tarek. Sash Tarek, okay. Uh, hmm. Let's do that Urshifu lead here. As no, he actually leads with Azu. That, uh, that's probably Belly Drum, isn't it? It has to be. I'll U-turn out here into, um, into Mag. No, it's just player offs. Yeah, I think that's Belly Drum Azu. Looks like it. We can just Volt Switch here. As he actually knocks off my uh, Toxic Orb. Okay. And he is very fast too, so it looks like he's probably max speed. Yeah, then we get to go Luxray here. Thankfully, he actually doesn't have a great switch into this Pokemon. So we can just Spark. I think Luxray can really shine versus this team in particular because he has no switch into it. Spark has a 30% chance to para as well, if I'm not mistaken. So it's like a Scald Burn. So maybe he'll just Jet here. No, he actually goes Terrac. Can we paralyze this thing, please? Please? No para? Okay. So I think he'll get up Rocks here. Um, no, he Earthquakes. Okay. We live that though. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. So here what we want to do is we want to go to Shifu. Don't think he'll go back to Azu just yet. He goes into his own Urshifu. Um, we're Scarfed, so we can actually knock it out here. Yep, beautiful. It's not a speed tie. I don't think he's Scarf on his, so it's definitely not a speed tie there. Aegislash comes in now. Okay, so um, versus this thing, I think what we can do is uh, we have... Um, well, I don't want to go Magirna just yet because Magirna can still check the Azu decently to an extent. Um, so what we want to do here is go Mantine. Yes, he's going to uh, Shadow Ball us here. That uh, did quite a bit of damage. I'm going to Roost up. That's doing about 50. I don't think I can keep it up without getting a Spadef drop, so I'm going to just attack. So that's good damage there. He can knock us out. That's fine. We get to go into Gengar now. Into Shadow Ball here. Pretty freely, I think. So his switch in would be uh, Dragal Dragalgy. Yeah, as Dragalgy does come out here, we can hit it up for some decent damage um, and then go right into Magirna. As he'll, he will Thunderbolt, that does uh, quite a bit of damage there. I think this is, I don't think this is Specs, I'm not sure actually. Um. Hmm. It's gonna go Cinderace here. Miss the Fleur. I have Vol Switch here as he U-turns. So we get we get that call right. Get that nice uh momentum with the Volt. Into who I'm not sure, but um not sure he's gonna who he's gonna go into. Age of Slash here. Okay, that's fine. That's actually fine. Uh, we'll take that. I just want to go uh, go Gengar on this thing. Go Gengar here and then uh, just Shadow Ball. I mean, he probably has Shadow Sneak, but it's not gonna do enough to knock us out. And Dragalgy can probably get two KO'd maybe. Let's start a timer as well. So yeah, it's going to be the Shadow Sneak here. It's going to do about 70. We'll knock this thing out, which is going to be great. And then Azu comes in here, probably for the jet. The purpose of clicking Aqua Jet. I don't actually think that uh, Aqua. I don't know if Aqua Jet knocks out Magirna. It might. <laughs> Wait, how much did the player off do? It did. Uh, player off did twenty point one. Aqua Jet's weaker than that, right? Player off is like what ninety something? Ninety. Aqua Jet's forty. Yeah. So actually, um, we'll sack here. Yeah. Um, that's fine. I think. I think Magirna can live. 
from this range. Unless I've miscalc or something somewhere. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. So we can full switch out into our Shifu. Um, lock ourselves in a Wicked Blow to, I think, win the game. Yeah, this thing is going to get destroyed. And that's going to be GG. Great game. So, I was a bit surprised that um, Luxray lived that one hit. But you definitely like to see it for sure. Now, at first glance, you'd think this was a rain team. <laughs> but he has a Mantine over Pelipper. But that's uh, interesting enough, I guess. Um, Urshifu seems like a fine, a fine lead versus this, this fellow. So it looks like the big win cons here are going to be, um, Luxray could do, Luxray actually could do some work. He doesn't have a great switch in if we click the right moves. Um, so we're going to see actually zero aura versus Urshifu now. We could blow on this will be fine because, um, going to always be faster. Get that big hit off on it. It's going to be nice. Overall, we can get up rocks later on too. He will go into his own as what we can do is, uh, I mean, I could make a play and go with Gengar here. I really could. But, um, yeah, he just does that. So we know for a fact that he is indeed Bandit. Um, Bandit or Shifu. So actually, what we do here is we sub. So he goes right into Azu. Get behind the sub and just sludge wave this thing. It's going to actually not Oakwood because he is, in fact, AV. And, um... But getting rid of Azu is great because that's uh, a Pokemon that Rhyperior doesn't have to worry about anymore. So now we can go into Ripe. He'll knock here. I don't think he does Grass Knot if he's Vol Switch. So I can just get my rocks up. So now he's forced to Defog or Spin or something later on. Um, but we have to put something to sleep. We do have to put something to sleep here, which um, could be a little bit annoying. I could put Rhyperior to sleep. Technically, I could. So I'm going to Earthquake this, put Rhyperior to sleep. Actually, he just Giga Drains. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. I really thought he was going to Spore. Uh, he Foul Plays. Going to just Volt out here. I think he will Spore on this turn. So we just need to Sleep Fodder something. That's what I wanted. Uh, okay. So now we get to go Luxray here. As he will Giga Drain, doesn't do too much. Um, let's Facade now. That does some good damage, very, very good damage. Um, and then we can just go right for another Facade and knock on Amoongus, okay. I mean, that was a Pokemon that was kind of difficult to deal with because of foul play and stuff. So we take those. Now we get to go into Urshifu. As he goes into his own, we know that we can outrun it and knock it out with close combat, but he does go Mantine. Um, we can go into our own Mantine here. I think that should be fine. Because even though he will... Oh, he doesn't actually go for the Defog yet, so we can actually click Toxic on this thing. Um, we are able to dodge that, so that's good. And that's GG. Uh, we could have just subbed with Gengar and made quick work of his team there. Um, what are we are at right now? Yeah, I think we have time for like one more. Maybe one or two more depending on the speed of the games. Uh, I think here we can just lead off with, um, probably Urshifu as there is the Gengar lead. And that is a Sash Gengar, unfortunately. And Dazzling Gleams to knock us out. I don't know if he's Destiny Bond. I don't think he should be. Yeah, so we can just uh, switch out there, go into Luxray, and then click that facade. I don't think he'll go Gengar here. Yeah, he stays in. That gets destroyed. Oh, Luxray, let's go. Let's go, Luxray. You just love to see that. <laughs> you really do. So we eliminated that Pokemon. Then he goes into his drill here, uh, and what we could do is just go Mantine now.
That's amazing. Doubles to Weavile though, okay. Pretty nice. Nice moves there. I'll put a Toxic on this thing as he actually clicks SD. Um, Magirna can still handle it. Magirna can handle it pretty well, I think. Icicle Crash, yeah, it doesn't do too much. And then we can just click uh, Fleur Cannon. Take the knock, of course, with ease. Ah. Uh, again, too. Like, didn't we face that one Weavile guy and he, and he like, dodged every single move that we had? Well, I guess it's just one Fleur Cannon, but still. Like, why? Like, this move is... It's not bad. And then he goes... Yeah, like, like, it just goes unpunished. Like, how? How is this possible? Magirna, you need some glasses. I gotta give you a choice specs or something. I'll just defog here. He goes star me. Um, I lost more HP than I probably... Actually, no, I have still at the same HP. This has to have like T-Bolt or something, right? Like, why did he go into it? Rapid Spin? Is he uh Meteor Beam? No, he sacks Gengar. Okay. That is good. In comes the Talon. We have Rhyperior for this Pokemon. As he will Flare Blitz. Yep, that's perfectly fine. He's Leftovers too. Uh, we can just smack down here. As he goes right into Starm. Hmm. Don't know what moves he has though. That's the only thing. I kind of just want to... um. I could go Mantine. Heal Scald doesn't do anything to us. That's good. I, I don't know if he's Natural Cure or not, but I, I just want to Toxic this anyways. Oh, he is Thunderbolt. And I get fully paired too. Nice, nice, nice. I don't even know what I can, what I can do anymore in this game. Other than try to outplay, I guess. Yeah, like, I'm gonna have to outplay every single turn. Yeah, and he tries to Ice Beam this turn, so we outplay him there. <laughs> ah, nice and outplayed. I'm most dangerous when I'm most cornered in a game. Um, here, we want to simply attack this thing. Because, uh, otherwise, uh, you know, Weavile, if it sets up an SD, can just win the game, potentially. If we get flinched with Magirna or something. Um, but nice. Okay, so then comes Drill. We can just uh, sack Magirna at this point in time. Don't need it anymore. As he will just Iron Head. Could probably just Pain Split, but he'll, he'll just knock us out here. Uh, and then we can go into uh, Mantine. Click, him, click the Scald here. Yep, we break through. Just click it again the safest thing. Right here is at 34.3. Flare Blitz did like 10. So I'm just going to go hard into it. I don't want to get set up on uh, over or something like that, for instance. So we can just smack down and win the game with Earthquake on Rhyperior. Yep, that's going to be GG. So I think uh, this is where we're going to end it off for this one. Got some pretty good games overall. And did really well with this team, so I like that. Um, a lot of testing, I guess, with this team. Been uh, testing here and there. Some good matchups and bad ones. But thankfully, we got all like good matchups in this one. So yeah, that's, that's going to be it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And uh, like I said in the beginning, leave a comment. Tell me um, what was your first shiny encounter of a Pokemon in your game. Or um, what just what's your favorite shiny Pokemon in general. I'd like to know. And with that being said, I will uh, see you guys on the next one. Feel free to suggest, by the way, any kind of uh, Pokemon you might want to see. Luxray was the suggestion, so I definitely wanted to fulfill that because Luxray is a cool mon. I haven't used it in a very, very long time. Um, and yeah, and drop a like if you enjoyed. Make sure you all subscribe. I'll see you all on the next video. Peace.